Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to best utilize before, after in Lightroom Classic. All the keyboard shortcuts I'll be showing you in today's video work in the develop module. They won't work in any other module. All right, we're going to start out with the basic way that most of us get a before view of our image. We hit the backslash key on our keyboard. Now the problem with this method is the backslash key isn't on all of the keyboards found in the world. It's found mainly in North America. And I believe if you live in France or Japan, you won't have a backslash key. And you're probably wondering, what is the keyboard shortcut for me? Well, you could find that out. While you're in the develop module, go up to view and then down to before after. And then you could see that there's a number of commands here. Before only is showing for me the backslash key. So for you, wherever you live, if you don't have a backslash key, go up to view, down to before after, go to before only, and look right here and see what the keyboard shortcut is for your computer to get this the most basic before after. Now there are other types of before after found in Lightroom. The other one is the Y key. Hit the Y key and by default you'll get this to image view with the before on the left and the after on the right. Now there is a variation of this. Hold in the shift key while you have this viewing and hit the Y key. And what you'll get is a split screen view. Now the odd thing about this split screen view is the center vertical line is not movable. You're probably familiar with a lot of different apps. You could grab this center line and slide it back and forth and get a before after that way. Unfortunately, you can't do that in Lightroom Classic. So we have the before half of the image on the left and the after half of the image on the right. Now, if you want to go back to the default view, hold in that shift key again and hit the Y key and you have this default view. Again, just hit Y key again and you are back to our normal processing in the develop module. Now there is a variation of the left and right before after. Hold in the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, and hit the Y key. And then you'll have the over under. Before is on top, after is on the bottom. And similarly, hold in that Shift key and hit the Y key, and you'll get a split screen view. This time it's split with a horizontal line going across the middle. And again, you can't move this horizontal line up or down. It's fixed. Hold the Shift key again and hit the Y key, and you'll get this over under default view of before after. Hit the Y key again and we're back to the left and right view. Hit the Y key again and we're back into our normal processing mode in the develop module. So again I'll hit the Y key and then you can see it defaults to the before on the left after on the right. So that's another variation of seeing a before after. Now Sometimes the before after doesn't give you all the info you probably want. For example, I have this image that I processed in black and white. Um, if I hit before by hitting the backslash key on my keyboard, I get a before of color. I think the before might be more useful to me if I saw it in black and white. Well, what you could do is you could go to the left panel. There we go and we'll go to history. And you can see the first thing I did down here at the bottom is I converted it to black and white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click right on that. When I do this little menu pops up and right in the middle we say we have copy history step settings to before. So when I choose that, now what happens when I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, my before is that step convert to black and white. And then the after is the last step. So before, after. And you could do that with any. If I wanted to make the clarity adjustment, or let's say the texture adjustment, my last, like my before, I could right click there 
and I could copy history step settings to before there, and then I could do a before after. There's before, and there's after, before, after. So I could put this anywhere. Again, I'll put it at the first step I did, which was converted to black and white. I'll put it there, and there's before, after. So that might be a better uh, way to see a before after when you convert an image to black and white. You want to see the before in black and white and not color. And that's the way you could do it. Just go to that history tab, right click, and choose that middle menu item. So that's it. That's a real short video today. Um, hopefully helping you better utilize before after for your Lightroom Classic workflow. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.